This your boy Lilo rocking with Lilo TV, and I'm back with another video, man. Y'all know, man. I've been grinding, so y'all already know, man. We're gonna go in here and jump into this, man. So, first thing first, we're gonna start taking this stuff apart up here so we can go in here and get this motor out, man. And we're gonna yank that young transmission, and y'all already know the rest. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in here and grab my toolbox real quick. Too bad. I know y'all might not be able to hear me as much, but we're gonna make it work. It's a little nippy out here, so. Go ahead and get it back. So, I'm gonna have to get my ratchet. And back in the bag. So, it's right there. There. So, we're going to take this little fan cover off. Go ahead and see. What we got in this tube, man. I got the flash. And a little light outside. And this hood is covering this light covering the light in here, so. Oh, yeah. What's that, a young 14? Man, we probably need a smooth 10 in here. Let's see where the heck that 10 up, man. Got to throw everything back in the bag. We'll do a little cleanup, but what I'm gonna do is get another, uh, it's a 12. We'll get another tool set and just leave this. This is gonna be like my extra tools. And these are all scattered in that order. And you have my line going crazy. So, I just have an idea what, what I got. Some blessings I got. So, here it is. That's the only 10. Lucy, you already tidy. You know what I'm For all my people that want to turn the wrench. So, uh, this is going to take all day. Oh my gosh. Um, um, she looks. That's what we got to do. I'm just seeing that little adapter in here, so I'm going to grab that and put this in my pocket. And then y'all see, we got a little bit of everything everywhere, so I'm going to see if I can find my uh, impact real quick. And I'm telling you, like, I was just throwing stuff in here, and when we moved the truck out, it out so I got a little bit of extra stuff in here and got some two bucks. I gotta use those. My landlord hooked me up with them. Yeah, a little two bucks. He gave me this other two bucks too. So I'm gonna put them to use some part of uh, I, I like the two bag, but Toolbox is always good too. Yeah, you these free toolbox. I'm gonna do some cleaning. Right, that's the first time seeing the inside of the toolbox. But, uh, yeah, man. Let's see where the heck. This freaking, uh, impact gun is. It's an impact gun. It's in here. So. Hopefully it ain't behind the motor. Close to it, I don't need to know something. Dang. 
might be in my car, in my other car, which is not around right now. So we just have to turn the wrench, guys. So let me take the suspension off. Slow me down. Alright. Man, I know y'all don't want to see me uh turning this wrench, man. And uh, I need two hands. So what I'm gonna do is come back when I got this uh got all four unbuttoned and then shoot, we're gonna take this thing off. Alright my sister man, we got the four bolts uns unscrewed. So therefore we're gonna bust that off. And we can't bust it off because we gotta unscrew that. So I just noticed that once I unbuttoned all four and came back over here, I'm like, dang, got another screw. So we gonna do that one on camera. So we still turning them wrenches and screwdrivers. Now I'm just kicking stuff. But anyways, This would have been much better with an impact gun. So, I advise y'all, if y'all turning your own wrenches, I know a lot of old school mechanics, they like to use uh, tools like this instead of uh, air tools and um, uh, power tools. Man, I don't understand why this screw is taking so long. Let's see something. Give me a little headache now. Oh, I'm convinced. Man, dealing with these old schools. When I was uh doing the truck, man, that thing had so much rust on there. I'm like, man, dealing with these old cars is crazy. Oh my, we even got four more. Oh, so therefore, you know, I'm going to bust it up. All right. Hopefully the same size. And they are. That's why I was keeping it. We got that one. I know y'all probably like that. He, uh... I'm trying to speed it up a little bit. And I got y'all on my hand, so I'm trying to make some decent content and work at the same time. So so get them loose. Right, let's see. Guys, if you don't know, oh my. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm not a mechanic. I'm the body man. So I do, uh, well, I know how to do everything. I know how to build a car to scratch. But at the same time, this is not what I usually do. But soon, I am going to start doing it. That's why I'm practicing on my own stuff. So get better doing it. and my dad is the grease monkey so i grew up watching him under the hood i just fell in love with the outside of the car so Screw 
Another thing, guys. If you don't love this sport, <laughs> it ain't worth doing it. But if you do love it, it's worth it. But if you don't, it's hard work. All right, so we got that off. Yeah, show y'all that. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. So now we can see the motor a little bit more. And then we got the bottom part. Well, we can take that out once we uh, get the radiator out. This is a nice radiator, but you no, know, we gonna do a uh, upgrade the radiator. Probably like a probably a racing one on here, and then do uh, two electric fans. So we gonna do that. Let's pop this and see what that's about. Oh, okay. So, I'm guessing this is the fuel ejection. I smell the gas, so yes, it is. Uh, this is uh, this is fuel ejected. It's not carbureted. Well, you see the wires. So in order to get that off, screw those two bolts off, which is we are going to do. We're gonna see, all right, that might be 15 or something. We can see if it's 15. But, let's just uh, make sure the air. Oh, that's a good um, breather on there. Make sure everything flow good. Uh, I got some little gooey on my hands. See, that's the thing that come with being a uh, grease monkey. We're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna hit and find the tool we need. It's a little cold, but we're gonna make it work. And like I said, I couldn't get this piece off. I probably just yank it off for real. It's connected up there, but right here, it won't slide or nothing. I mean, probably won't need it anyway, so. So, it's not tight. It's going to unscrew with our hands. carburetor with some you know extra wires going on i'm not really sure what it is i told you guys i'm not the grease monkey so i won't be blessed me in the comments all right this is the first for everything but like that rust and body work and uh welding and stuff along those lines uh we can't get that but I'm converting over to the grease monkey stuff because it, it it helps a lot. And you can do your own work and you ain't really got to pay as much out of pocket. So that's another thing I, I, I recommend. I do recommend being a mechanic, but it ain't my thing, man. It's a lot of work. But like everything else. So it's throttle body there. And this is a four main bolt. So two on that side. I don't know if I can see down in there. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Camera down in there. Look at it. 
I don't know if y'all can see, but right there is two bolts. So it looked like that on both sides in order to pull the motor. Like, unlike the truck, and we had a million bolts and screws, guys. It was like crazy. But that's part of doing the LS swap. Get y'all a good look over here. see down in that hole yeah. uh, see that but two bolts are right there just holding the motor so once we get those off we'll be good if we can go to LS swapping and doing what we do and we don't get this hood off in the next video See if there's some more things we can um, take off this thing, man. We're doing this just like the truck. And we're just coming in here, just getting on it. Just a little popper, man. And that's the screw. Group, I mean that popper or whatever it is, you don't need it. So now I can tell y'all a little bit better what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about them two screws down there. That's what's holding the motor. And this little thing right here, man, it's annoying me a little bit. It just will not. Oh, what do you do? Right, we got that off there. Guys. <laughs> my this man, don't be getting in the comments, man. Try to get better with my uh, camera skills and be a little bit more engaged in the videos. Like, but y'all already know, man. But here, man, we got some uh, stuff going on down here so what i'm gonna do is pop them off and then see what it looks like the the front uh suspension it's coming through there so i'm guessing that's the shock or whatever i'm not really sure we gonna see what the heck going on down in there and y'all see my firewall we're gonna go ahead and paint that and here is going to be black. I don't really want to color match with the car because I'm going to end up, since I'm a painter, I'm going to end up changing the color of the car and redoing the car again. So it, it is, it's never going to stay a color for a long time. But I am, I'm probably painting the car like three times. I got three schemes I want to do on the car. So it, the last scheme is just going to stay like that until forever <laughs> so i got three schemes i want to do on the car so after those three schemes it's a wrap for it it's just gonna be just what it is the last scheme and then we're gonna bring another once this is done or getting close to being done we're gonna go ahead and introduce another build so we can keep keep this thing rolling man so Comment down below. What should we get next? And yes, I'm saying this already because we on a hunt for something else right now. And we're going to go ahead and knock this out. So this is going to be speedy build. 